Morning guys, it's June the... Sixth, uh, I'm out here. Thought I'd take a look at the corn, see what's going on with that, and uh, we have to feel other things here in the video. All right, guys, so I'm here looking at the corn. It's been a couple days now, or a few days since we planted it. Uh, I just wanted to check, see how the plastic's doing, and uh, I noticed some issues. So I'll turn the camera around, we can take a look. All right, there's the plastic. Doesn't look too bad, except for that big gap there. It seems as though the wind in a few places has got under it and flipped it over. So, should probably put some dirt down there so it won't keep going. But the real problem is, and I'll zoom in to show you guys, that right there so we're getting crows going through the field and what they're doing I'm trying to step over it here a little bit easier to walk across the end here we go so what they're doing is they're reaching down through the plastic and they're eating the corn you can see there those holes crows sticking their little beaks down and picking the corn. See there's part of a kernel. Where am I at here? Part of a kernel there. So there's one here. They hit the jackpot here. More here on this side. Well, let me turn around here. There. So that's pretty fun. There's only one down there I see right now. I looked out here earlier, we were doing a little bit of fencing, and uh, there was probably eight or ten crows just giving her on the corn so that kind of sucks not sure how bad of an effect it's going to have on the yield but obviously it's going to have some effect so we'll probably have to uh i don't know rig up some kind of a scarecrow or something i guess anyway just deal with it as it comes we did some fencing this morning behind me so the cows are grazing on a new piece now. Uh, we used to do, like we'd make an alleyway with fence so they'd get up on the high parts without having to go all through the other parts, the lower parts, but I guess we don't do that anymore. So makes it a little bit harder to get the cows in the uh, evening. All right, I'm over at my uncle's shop now. We're gonna take off that tube from the bottom of the tractor. We drained the uh, fluid out of it and stuff there a few days ago, so take that tube off and see what's there for a seal, if it's just an O-ring or what. I gotta put the drain plug back in, I guess. And uh, put cover on that bucket. And then I'll take the tube off. Alright, I just got the tube off. Here it is sitting here. So There's like a locking collar right there. I took the set screw, but it didn't seem to make much difference. And then there's this seal right here of some kind, which appears to be dried out. So, I don't know, I guess I have to replace this seal. I might as well replace it. Just It just seems like a piece of foam though. I don't know, we'll see what dad says. So I assume this end is fixed on this flange, like that. 
and then you just got to loosen this up and tighten the this collar up against the seal to seal it that way so anyway we'll have to order that I guess and uh, I'll see if I can get that collar loose and I'll put the set screw back in it before I lose it too so the reason we're kind of getting the work on this right now other than the fact that it needs to be fixed obviously but uh, Dad's getting a little worried we're not going to be able to get the parts for the harvester in time and we're going to be chopping next week so uh, the weight will have to go on the chopper, uh, the gale, so, uh, pull type so that's why we're trying to get this fixed now even if uh, it doesn't go on it I'd like to get it fixed so we can put the mower on it because I like to use this tractor for mowing actually I like to use this tractor for most things but definitely for mowing Yep. The front guys got the head on the harvester. Managed to get the things to come far enough ahead to pick it up. So we need to find the correct extensions to go there uh, for the guide plates in the throat. The pan is different down there. Uh, had a bit of a boo-boo here too. This here bar has to come off because it hits right there as we found out. That was nice. Um, there's also a support plate that goes from side to side down here because it's supposed to be touching. Let me see if you guys can see. There we go. It's supposed to be touching around there somewhere but it isn't. So there's some kind of a support plate that goes from one side to the other. It has to go there. PTO shaft fits. And uh, it does work. So, technically, it does run and everything. So, at least we got that much going for us. So, yeah, I don't know if she's going to be making it for first cut. Maybe later on. We'll see how it goes. Let's try some new tactics. Evening guys, it's about uh, quarter to seven here. Just finished having my supper, or dinner I guess, depending on where you're at. Uh, so I haven't done anything else to the garden since I tilled it last, but I just spread some fertilizer over it. Then I'm gonna hit it with the tiller again, and then we're gonna plant it. I got my seeds in the box there some corn and uh, peas and beans and stuff so the plan is uh, I'm gonna put mulch uh, plastic mulch down probably on this side I think eight feet maybe and the rest will just be conventional I guess you'd call it uh, so eight feet of plastic, I'm not sure how the far apart the rows are going to be in that yet, but the rest of it will be four feet apart so I can get the tractor down in between the rows, uh, just for weeding purposes. Uh, it's not a very big garden, I mean you could probably weed it pretty easily but uh, by hand, but I don't know, that's not the uh, fun of it for me. I like playing with my tractors, so... That's the plan now. I found this part in the garden. I don't know what it is. It looks familiar, but uh, I don't know if that came off my tractor or if it was just an artifact, but uh, I bet we'll find out. So anyways, let's get at her. Well, I figured out what the familiar looking piece was. It's the brake drum off this thing. I don't think it's too important. I'm not sure why it fell off. Just worked its way loose, I guess, shaking around with the tiller on it. Kind of just normal, you know. You start working 50 uh, something year old tractors, you're bound to find some loose bits and pieces. So. Anyway, I got it tilled, so I'm going to lay out my plastic. Actually, I might do a little bit of raking first, and then lay out my plastic. Hey guys, well, I ran into the steam for the evening. 
Uh, I'm not even sure what time it is. My phone died. It's after 8 o'clock anyway. But, uh, oh, this whole section here I planted sweet corn. There's one, two, three, four uh, rows, four feet apart. This one here, I wasn't going to put one close to the edge like I did, but I, know, I wanted to get a little bit more in, so I did anyway. Um, I don't know, we'll see how that goes for me. I just I won't be able to cultivate on this side of it like I wanted to. I'll only able to do the one side, but I guess if I had to, I could uh, till a little bit on this side anyway. But it's like my tape away. I got two rows of plastic and everything took out the whole area. I'm just gonna cut that. Two rows of plastic, just kind of dirt holding down the middle of it. This is more to stop the weeds from coming through where the plants are. So this end here, I haven't planted anything yet. Uh, right here we got two rows of green beans and two rows of yellow beans. I'm going to do some peas and carrots here on this end. That row is sweet corn under plastic just to compare with the rest of it. And this row here I'll probably do popcorn. I have a bag of that too. So we'll try that. It didn't work out very good last year but you never know. We'll see if it works out any better for me this year. So. Yeah, I don't know if I was really banging on with my four feet apart, but I had about eight inches uh, to spare. Like I can see looking at it that these two rows are further apart than these two rows. I don't know, I guess I need GPS on my tractor. Wouldn't that be something? Anyway, time to go in the house and lay down, I think. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Flies are eating me alive out here now after uh, the sun's kind of setting so looks like Super Dave's got to figure out what we need for the harvester fit that head on it just uh, a whole kit of stuff I think he was getting some prices on it from some place down in Iowa and uh, we'll get it sent up so I don't know it should take about a week to get here I guess and we'll go from there on it other than that it's pretty much ready to go uh, a few other little minor things you gotta finish the chute and some of the side panels, that's about it, but nothing critical other than the shoot, I guess that's kind of important. But uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and uh, help the video out for me, help the channel out. Uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and all that good stuff. And uh, see you tomorrow, guys.
track, I guess. What? Wanted to track that way, I guess. 